All right, I finally finished watching Ajo, and that was a disappointing finale, and it was filled with, like, lazy writing, and, yeah, this is not a good show, in my opinion. All right, so let's talk about episode four first before we talk about episode five, which is the finale. Uh, this episode shows a little bit more of the connection that Echo has with Kingpin, and um, it shows a flashback to when she was disrespected by this ice cream vendor, and Kingpin got out of, uh, of the car and then killed him. And Echo watched, and then she showed no remorse, and that's basically the um, beginning of their like alliance towards uh, villainy, I guess. Um, and then years later, Kingpin is talking with her over dinner, and then he's like, uh, "We can only trust each other." And he has an ASL translator right behind him, so uh, he sends her out of the room, and then he has her killed. And that was just like very weird because how are they going to communicate? Uh, Kingpin doesn't know sign language, and <clears throat> also, yeah, you can tell that was just done for dramatic effect. How are they going to communicate? Kingpin doesn't know ASL, and he didn't learn the device that allows him to understand what Echo is signing isn't invented or, or shown until very later on, because this was a flashback as well. So that was just there for no reason, I guess. Um, so now in the present day, Fist is like, you know, return to New York City with me. Uh, and Maya goes to see uh, Uncle Henry about it. And then she starts to have these visions of her ancestors. And she goes to see Chula about it, to talk over it. And basically it's revealed that the ancestors uh, will help them when they need it most. And right off the bat, that is the biggest cop-out I've ever seen. They're not even trying to hide anymore. That was, that's like the biggest, like how convenient is that? Your ancestors, your ancestors will try to help you when you need it most. That's like, that's lazy writing if you ask me, in my opinion. So that's basically what happens. And then, uh, long story short, Maya does not return to New York with Kingpin. And when he finds this out, he gets angry. On to episode five. In a flashback, we basically see Maya's mother healing, healing powers and abilities when uh, Maya destroys or injures like a woodpecker. And Maya's mother can heal. She has powers now. Uh, and then that becomes like an omen. The wood pit, uh, the woodpecker becomes like an omen uh, in the finale for when things is about to go down and something bad is about to happen, I guess. And in present day, Maya is at a Choctaw festival uh, because Biscuits messages her saying that she uh, he can't find Bonnie or Chula uh, who have been kidnapped by the Kingpin. And she's there to like just scour things out and like fi find him or... Uh, rescue them, I guess. And she sees Fisk later on, who threatens to kill her entire family. And let me see. Yeah, but guess what happens next? Maya shares her Chata powers through her ancestors, with Bonnie and Chula. And they overpower Fisk's men. And that's how they're defeated, basically. That's it. Yeah, nothing more, nothing, nothing less. And as for Kingpin, Maya tries to, like, she has this ability to go into someone's mindscape, and then she tries to heal him mentally from uh, what his dad did earlier on, and that seemingly does not work. And then Kingpin is like, "What did you do? What did you do?" And then he just he escapes. He just goes away. And <laughs> I think I was reading somewhere that what Maya was trying to do to Kingpin did not work. So if so, uh, Kingpin still has no reason to not carry on with the plan of killing her fa uh, her family. So. But yeah, what a useless way to like have Kingpin in the show, in my opinion. And then that's how you're going to defeat him with those fight scenes as well, with barely any. Um, what else? <laughs> yeah, so basically the next day, Maya leaves uh, Tamaha. And in the mid credit scene, Kingpin is watching the news about uh, mayoral elections in New York. And that's obviously teasing to his um, him running for mayor. And then it ends there. That's the end of the show. And so there are a lot of issues I had with the finale and the last two episodes. Um, for one, just how much of a cop-out it was for Echo to use her powers. I thought this was going to be a straight, level, grounded, uh, brutal TV show. And I was under the impression that Echo didn't have any more powers other than um, replicating someone's physical abilities. And they did way more than that and added this like mysticism into it that incorporated the mystical element. And that just like, that was a cop out because in the final fight, it was so easy to defeat Kingpin's henchmen 
Um, so that felt like the stakes were just low. There was nothing to be worried about. Um, the fight choreography wasn't even shown. There was basically no fighting. It was just tossing people around because she has super strength. She doesn't need to use martial arts. And Pinkman's man can't fight either. So I also couldn't connect to the characters. That's in addition to like how the stakes felt non-existent. Uh, I didn't care for the characters like at all. I think I hated Chula. Uh, Bonnie was just kind of there. So I didn't care. I, I didn't really care at all uh, for that final part. So that also added to why it was not a good finale. And yeah, the way they defeated Kingpin was so cringe uh, to his character. Like, have you seen, if you compare him in Daredevil to him in Echo, it's a drastic difference and it's a downgrade. <clears throat> and also in the finale, Bisset later on gets into like this monster truck to run over two vans that has um, Kingpin's henchmen from like episode two or three, if you remember. And again, he's going off of this, he does this going off of just a bad feeling that he had about them. So technically, he just ran over two random van vans without actually knowing that they were um, militants or whatever. So that was kind of just weird, but obviously it was done for plot convenience. And you can see it. And this is what I'm saying. This is what I don't like about the show. And um, also channeling her power into Bonnie and Chula. I thought that like it's power that's passed on to one person in generation. So first it's Chula, then Chula's daughter, and then Maya. So I can understand, I think, why Chula gets her powers um, temporarily. But for Bonnie, I don't really get it. We've never seen Bonnie have that connection at all. So that was also very convenient. And that just added to why it's not a good finale. But yeah, that's uh, that's about it for the show. Um, leave a comment down below if you finished it or what you thought. But yeah, that's about it. Not a good show, in my opinion. I wouldn't recommend. Peace.